What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to be telling you guys the top 10 things that NBA 2K19 needs to add to the game before the next patch. So this list is not in order in any way, but anyway, if there's anything that I don't cover make sure to drop it in the comments below and let's get right into the video. The first thing is that they need to fix the park events ASAP. The park events are rough to play because they lag all the time, and even if you're not playing the events, while events are going on, the normal park will be laggy. Literally one park event can just mess up the whole servers, it's crazy. And then with Core Conquerors, since it's online players versus offline, they should honestly just make that similar to matchmaking where you and your squad just pick a team and you can play it right away. I don't get the point of people waiting to play AIs. For the second thing, you guys know how they have that building where you spin the wheel and then there's the pick to win in there also? That building is fine, like they should keep it. But they should also add the wheel and the pick to win and all that on the phone. They should just make it a phone app so you don't have to run in there all the time because you have to run in there. And then if you're playing with a squad when you need to spin the wheel, you got to go in there. You got to load into a new park. And then sometimes you don't even get into the same park. Like it takes a bunch of tries. And going along with that topic, number three is that joining parks needs to be fixed because sometimes I try to join people on my friends list. It doesn't let me join them. It just doesn't load into their park. Sometimes it doesn't let me join at all, sometimes it takes 3 tries, sometimes it takes 5, sometimes even more. Sometimes the invites don't even work, joining off the PSN menu doesn't work, it's crazy. The fourth thing on this list isn't as major but it's to fix dodgeball because sometimes dodgeball doesn't start up when there aren't enough people and I get that but when there are enough people, sometimes other people load in and I don't load in and it's not that big of a deal because it's just dodgeball. But sometimes I'm trying to win my 25k VC, I end up waiting 10 minutes, and then I don't get in the game, so it's just a huge waste of time. For the fifth thing, I'm not sure if this is even fixed yet, I've heard rumors that it is, but I honestly have no idea, but if they haven't yet, they need to fix the private pro-am because they said a while back that private pro-am would be in the game, I'm really looking forward to that, I don't know if it's in the game, if it is, somebody please let me know in the comments down below. For number 6, this one, I kind of think it's important, especially if you make new builds, like on my new guard build, I was going to try out dribble moves and stuff, and you can't even buy dribble moves and other animations in your court, you can't buy them, you can't equip them, so literally to test out dribble moves, you have to equip them, you have to load into your court, and you try them out, and that's fine and all, but then you have to load out of your court to buy them, and then you have to go all the way back in, so it's just a hassle going from your court to the outside to your court to the outside when you want to test a bunch of stuff. You should just be able to buy animations in your court, change them in your court, and that would be so much easier to compare them. And also in my court, they shouldn't make it so that when you pass the half court line, the whole thing flips. It's just kind of annoying how sometimes I'm trying to shoot shots behind half court, and you literally can't at all. So they should just make it full court where you can also dribble up the court, practice your dribble moves while running up the court instead of just having the my court be a half court setting when you're practicing. Okay, so this seventh thing is really important and it's that dead parks need to be fixed. So in NBA 2K18, they added the neighborhood and it is a great idea, don't get me wrong, but they implemented it horribly. I personally think the neighborhood is really cool and all, but when you're in a park, it's hard to get games because when you win a game, number one, some people are scared to play you and number two, the people that aren't scared aren't even playing because in the park, it's not just people playing park. It's people that just loaded into a park that are going to play my career, that are going to go to the cages, that are going to go to pro-am, that are going to buy clothes, that are going to go to their my court. It's crazy. So honestly, when you load onto your player, I think you should load into your my court. And then from there, you should load into the park, just so the parks are less dead. And they should just take the neighborhood out of the game. They shouldn't have the NBA store where you can run and go into it, because that just takes up extra people in the park that aren't playing games. They should just make the store either on your phone or on the nav. I don't remember how they had it in 2K17, but similar to that, where you're not running around in the park doing nothing, so all the people in the park would actually be playing games. For number 8, they either need to decrease the rep that people get in my career, or increase the rep that people get in park, because it's kind of weird seeing the top rep be a my career player. Like, I play my career for rep, and it's really boring. But if my part got the same amount of rep as my career, I would only be playing my part. Personally, I think they need to make it so that there's more rep given in my part, just so that the top rep in NBA 2K20 isn't a my career player. For number 9, this is also pretty important. They need to fix shot contests. Like, I get it, when you're to the side of somebody, it doesn't count. And when you're behind somebody, it doesn't count as a contest. I really like that, because that's realistic. But sometimes, 
I've seen people get ankle breakers and they literally break the guy to the ground. He's on the ground and then they shoot the shot and then it's lightly contested. I don't understand that. Like he's not even contesting you. He's not even in front of you. He's on the ground. Heavily contested shots, I don't think they should go in at all unless you have a high mid-range and three-point rating and you have mid-range or deep-range deadeye. So heavily contested shots, they should go in every once in a while if you have the badges and the three-point and mid-range rating. But other than that, they shouldn't hit. That would be great if they could fix that because that would actually add a skill gap to the game where people aren't taking contested shots all the time and just making them. And the last thing that they need to add or take away, I should say, is pushing. Pushing is a thing that's new to NBA 2K19 and it's kind of annoying because I feel like when I'm on defense I always get pushed and then people just get a wide open shot because of that but then when I'm on offense and I try to push somebody it's a foul so I stopped pushing people totally because sometimes it's a foul sometimes it's not it's really unpredictable so if I were 2K I would just take it out of the game totally and it's funny because there was this one time when Ronnie 2K was streaming and he actually got pushed and I think he said something about that should be a foul or that shouldn't be in the game or something like that so hopefully in the next patch they address these things and if there are any other things you guys think that 2K should address drop a comment down below let me know if I missed anything on this list let me know if there's something on this list that should actually stay in the game or that they shouldn't add and make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'm out peace